second and last one the penultimate chapter each chapter seems to be like exactly an hour long if not a bit like a, t a tad bit less a tad bit more i could appreciate that because it makes my life actively easier i like those tell me why chapters which were like three hours long each albeit there was only one chapter for there's only three chapters those chapters were still ridiculously long next May 30th, 1998. Desert Dream Motel, Arizona. Jim and Zoe. I'm gonna guess this Vince Scope. I don't get it. I don't, I don't know. Vince, let's go. Dude, this entire situation is wild. I can't lie. Chapter 4, I think, was fine. It was a bit boring. But we got to the end, and it's like, ah, what do I do? <laughs> Three days later. The police get their power from the U.S. Constitution, but around here, they act like it comes from God. Your name's Jay. Right? Yes, sir. Well, Jay, I'm Lawrence Bradley with the FBI. Heard you got a little roughed up during the arrest. You okay? Yeah. I'm good, sir. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> don't thank me yet. Technically speaking, you have no obligation to talk to me. But, son... I've been doing this job for 38 years. See more shit than a porta potty, and I know a career criminal when I see one. What I see right now is a scared teenager who got himself mixed up in something he shouldn't have. So just help me understand how you got so caught up in all of this, and uh, we'll get you back home where you belong. Sure. Can you really get me out of here? If I can't, no one can. Okay. So your friend no, I'm down. somehow gets the code to the sheriff's safe. You try to rob him, end up at the Desert Dream. Your brother Tyler says, this place is cool, let's hide out for a while. When did you realize things weren't going to work out so good for you there? Uh, when we got there. From the start, I guess. Ma said home by dinner, you know? So you knew it was wrong, but you still stuck around. What else was I gonna do? Walk out the door. Call 911. We were together. I couldn't just leave. Okay. I understand. Now, I want to ask you something else. You've seen this man before? His name's Victor Gray. Might have been calling himself Joseph Thorne. Uh oh. He's been to our house. Wasn't a good kind of guy. That's why we found his body in a shallow grave near your family's cabin with your fingerprints all over him? Now don't worry, I'm not trying to pin this on you. It's, uh, it's your family we want. What I want to know this is, me. was Grace still alive when you helped your family bury him? I... I don't know what you're talking about. Jay, I can help you. But not if you lie to me. I'm not! I didn't help anyone with anything. I told you, we have forensics. So? Just believe me. I'm on your side here. I don't know what to do. This is a weird case. The entire thing's weird. You should water your plants more. <laughs> You're right. I didn't even notice. So, let's talk about what happened after the motel. You've been through the ring around this point. Your brother Dale's been killed. So, you flee into the forest. Until I show up uh, with the local police. Then you abandon your family and run for it. 
Why'd you do that? Why'd you run? I was just so tired of seeing people get hurt. Seeing them hurt? Or hurting them? Both. Hmm. My son's a linebacker. Got himself a full ride to ASU. <laughs> Do you like football? Not really. Well, he does. He's out there pursuing his dreams. That's what I want for you too, son. But here's the problem. Forensics has you at the sheriff's house. Witnesses have you at the motel. To get a deal, a, a way out, you need to give up something the DA doesn't already know. And there's only one thing big enough, and that's who made you do what you did that night. See, we had a lot of bodies inside that motel. Michelle Walker, Joyce Walema, four police officers <sighs> dead at the scene, another two on life support. And you weren't just a witness. You were part of it. So tell me. Who put you up to it? I don't care, man. Tyler, I don't care. I don't like Tyler. I don't like any of the family. I only like Jay. I just did what he said. Jay was great. <laughs> Make a note. Suspect has confessed to multiple murders at the Desert Dream Motel. Wait. That's not what I... You can discuss the finer points with the judge. You said... You said you'd help me. I am helping you. Huh. You're gonna feel a lot better now. What about pursuing my dreams? Like your son. That isn't my son. This isn't even my office. Huh. You know what? Now that I think about it, I might have messed up. Dale said it should be. That's the game's forcing me to do it no matter what, huh? Holy shit! Good. I usually go for the barbecue chicken. That sounds just fine. But hold the onion. What the? Son of a bitch! Lock down the station! Funniest part is he's not even in the station. Game forced me to do that no matter what I did. Suspense and Zoe. I think that Thanks again for the ride. Oh, Jay. Remember, son, Jesus loves even the wayward. So, regardless of. Wait, right. Uh, regardless of if I shot or surrender, Jay just becomes a fugitive? Bro, what? That's not fun. Me no likey. On the hunt for an 18 year old male wanted in connection to multiple murders at the Desert Green Motel in Arizona. According to inside sources, the district attorney intends to pursue the death penalty. The death penalty? I need to collect call the Dorland family in Two Rock, Arizona. Please state your name. T 
Tell her it's Dean. Hello? I have a collect call from Dean. Oh my god. Uh, yes, I accept. I was wondering when you call. Vanessa, I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Ooh, slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? I had this argument with my brother. He said, well, it don't matter. <sighs> but I left. I ran away. Shit. Okay. Do you want me to call them for you? I could try to- No. It's too late. I'm on my own now. Got nothing to eat. No money. Look, things have been shitty here too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer, and now I'm grounded for like half the summer. Seriously? I know. He's fucking crazy. Where are you now? <sighs> Salt Lake City. Near the... Uh, the Sabrina Hotel? Okay. I'll book you a room. You can order room service. Take a nap, and later I'll call to check that you're... Vanessa? <sighs> you know what? I'll meet you there. Wait, what? You'll... Don't you have finals? <sighs> Screw finals. I'd rather help a friend. No. It's dangerous here. You shouldn't come. To Salt Lake City? I've been. It's weird, but it's safe. But are you sure? Don't worry about me. Seriously. I'll book the room under my name. See you soon. <sighs> Meanwhile, on two rock. gonna regret this but right now you're all I need I know Marlon two years sober and I can't even fall off the wagon in style what's got you so <gasps> hello Who's there? Uh... Sorry, sorry. You you can. Uh... <sighs> Jesus, I finally nod off, and you try to bludgeon me to death with a. What you bake now? You broke in to my home. You left the window open. Bike blew a tire the first mile. I lost Tyler. Really? Yeah. Jay abandoned us. Been scrambling ever since. I just needed some place to rest, take a shower. Have Get a... dressed. You're leaving. Now. What? Wait, Paul! I want you to bet she was having an affair with Paul. Because apparently that's a thing in this game. That motel, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. 
And now you and your goddamn sons. What we've done is unforgivable. I know. Tell that to Joyce's kid. The little boy your son left without a mama. Good people died in there. I'm sorry. Truly sorry for what you and that poor family went through. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. Don't ask me. The, the less I know, the better. Please. I've run out of options. Time was I used to dream of you showing up in my bed. But this... Christ. Look at me. I've been living like a damn stray. Sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some hobo meth head tried to slice my belly with a box cutter. I gotta ask. Oh, Jesus. I I is it bad? Let me see. Don't worry, I can handle it. She lied. Sharon, you're all over the news. Tyler, I heard they arrested him. He took a stand so I could take a chance. He's the only reason I got away. They'll try to break him, but he won't give me the satisfaction. He knows what those sons of bitches did to Dale. My beautiful baby. All his life, they had it in for him. <laughs> Sorry. But, Jay, at least he got away, right? Oh, you don't know. Jay escaped from custody, somehow. They're looking everywhere. Jay? <gasps> that line doesn't make sense to me. Because, unless I'm just dumb, unless I'm just kind of stupid, which honestly I wouldn't put it past me, doesn't he say, and I quote, right? At least Jay got away, right? And he said, she's like, uh, and he's like, oh, you don't know. Because as, as far as I'm concerned, my, remem my memory from one minute ago, Sharon doesn't say that. Paul does. And then he's... That line makes no sense to me. But whatever. Jay. Oh, God. Please let him be okay. All this. For a few thousand dollars. Just enough to stop those thugs killing us. All because of Bear. Damn him. We both had dreams once, remember? I was going to expand the bar, make it profitable. And what about that coast-to-coast -coast motorcycle trip you always said you were going to do? Is this how you saw your life turning out? Always used to dream I'd find a girl, settle down. Then I met my wife, and for a while at least it came true. Until I went and blew it. Oh, no. So much for happily ever after. I get it. No one should have to be alone. Why are you even here? Talking hypotheticals. You're a wanted woman. You gotta leave. Get out of town. You know, Bear always said he'd take me away from Two Rock. Dante loved me for a while, too. Sharon, back then, everyone loved you. You once told me I always choose the wrong guy. Well, I was young and stupid enough to think you'd listen. And I was young and stupid enough to think I knew better. Should have been with you from the start. Uh, sure. I don't know what to say here. Telling myself the same thing for twenty years. I don't know. Never thought I don't know. I'd say it though. This is weird. You've always. I don't know what to do in this situation. When those thugs showed up at our door, when I had no one else to turn to, you were the one who stepped up. Now wait a minute. Say. If you're talking about... You knew we were sinking. 
But coming up with the code to Dante's safe, that was... If, if I'd known what would... Oh my god, oh, bro. Jesus, I'd never have given... Oh god. Oh hell. I think we could both use a drink. Don't you? Sure. Uh, I'm kind of stuck here. At the motel. It brought it all back. The war. What we went through. Some nights, I hear Bear through the walls, screaming in his sleep. I can't imagine. Look, nobody knows your part in this, and I swear it'll stay that way. But, and I hate saying this, I need your help. Or what? You gonna tell the cops? No. I wouldn't betray a friend. I mean, sure. You could end up in jail, because of all this. And so could I. But there's a way out. For both of us. That book of his? I looked a bit closer. It's not just bribes. Dante's been taking money from criminals and funneling it into a single offshore account. Uh, making my life the worse. is safe. That was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. And the details are right here. No name, no ID. All a person's got to do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Can't be me. They catch one whiff of me and I'm locked up for life, but you. Then we expose Dante for what he is. Karma. Payback, call it what you like. And by the time his- I like to go back to Zoe's perspective, please. be long gone. Look, you said it yourself. We should have been together from the start. And I'm saying this is our second chance. You can stay here in Two Rock and drink yourself into oblivion, or we can live together in paradise. You do realize if we do this, I'm gonna leave this up to a coin flip. Disappear, you'll never be able to see Jay again. That doesn't mean I can't help him. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. Come with me. Come with me, and you'll be in. A oh, sorry. Uh, all right. I'll put this one up to a coin flip. Uh. Cool. All right. All right. I have a. Which one is it? <sighs> Great. Okay. Well, um. <laughs> well, that's fun. Uh, remove that. That's that's nice. That's that's always great. That's always nice. Well, I put it up to a corn flip, so you can't blame me. Cat. Expecting anyone? No. Hey, cuz, it's me. Open up. <gasps> Shit. It's Dante. Every demon and devil may cry be like. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Uh. You actually came. Well, you sounded like a lost puppy. Can I come in? <sighs> I thought you wanted to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund. I also brought you a change of clothes. And tomorrow morning, I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. 
and then we're even, okay? Even? You don't owe me anything. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. <laughs> I... Nobody's ever done something like this for me. I don't deserve it. Of course you do. Why? Look, you're doing something I've only ever dreamed about. Running away from everything. So, if I can help you somehow, what's wrong? It's just, if you hadn't come, I'd have nobody now. You sure you can't go back to your family? Your mom must be worried. She ain't my mom. And my brothers ain't my brothers. They told me the night I met you. My real mom was some aunt. I don't know who my dad was. Oh, Dean. That must feel terrible. I just don't even know who I am anymore. I wish they hadn't told me. Except then, you'd be living a lie. Maybe from now on, family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people you choose. True. I saw that on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a good t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That's not your room. Like hell it's not. My daughter's in there. What? Oh my god. How? How did you find me? You see this? That's my credit card that you used to book for this. Oh my god. Open the door or I'm calling the police. Dad? What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you fucking follow me? How did you, you think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Now, answer the question. What? Uh oh. Doing in a salt lake and before QTE. Hotel? It's none of your business. What are you doing? <laughs> sure. No. Vanessa, do you want to turn out like your brother? Living a secret life, lying all the time, until some cold morning you're wheeled into a morgue? Oh, sure. Let's blame him for his death. He was hit by a drunk driver. At four in the morning, with enough shit in his system to kill him. You know what? I'm not doing this. You're coming home, and that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Ugh. Do what you have to. <sighs> that's a line and a half. Ah, <sighs> uh, you can't mash. I feel so bad for you. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Hurry! Bro, what? It's literally been, what, 10, 15 seconds? Why are you. You! You know, I feel like this would be more intense if, you know, the art style we need weren't to get like out that. Of here. Because you, you mean together? You know those scenes in movies um, where they say you have the characters running like one direction, and the and they pan back, the camera pans back to the other direction, and so like so like okay, so like the characters will be running and it follows them really quickly. The camera pans back to the person chasing after them, and it follows them again. Something like in um, I can't remember which Captain America movie it was. No, 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 no. It wasn't the Captain America. It, it was. It was a Captain America movie. I, it's Captain America: Civil War, which I why well, I got confused because that's basically an Avengers movie at the end of the day. But it was Captain America: Civil War, where it's um Bucky. Uh, spoilers if you haven't seen the movie. It's been out for like what six, seven years at this point. Uh, Bucky is running, uh, Bucky is running from T'Challa, and Captain America is right behind them. So, it's, so you have, like, Bucky running, and then you, like, you, the hammer goes on, goes to him, 
and then it goes back to T'Challa. He's they it follows him, and then it goes cap back to Captain. Those shots like that are great. I love those shots. That's what they tried to do with this, but with, when it comes to the art style and how the animation works, I don't think it works in this, which is unfortunate. Because I'm I think that'd be so cool. But like, I, I love those kind of shots. Those like continuously, those no, continuous sorry, motion shots, um, one takes, if you will. Uh, Stranger There's Things 4 did the same thing with the one take um, recently. That's the, that's like the big the, the first thing that comes to my head with the one take and the camera work. Honestly, was just great. And um, yeah, so. But I think it's these ones. I feel like it, it, it would have worked if it weren't for the um, kind of animation and art style that this game was going for. Oh my god, I hit this bad. <sighs> Drive! Vanessa! Game over, man. It can't be. 911, what's your emergency? This is gonna sound crazy, but I think my daughter just ran off with the Oh, future. God. One of them is dead. I guess that's just in case you decide to let. Uh, it's Dale Live. This has been sent. Thanks for taking over. I told you it's cool. I love driving. I should have done this ages ago. Run away from home. I like this too. No one to answer to, nowhere to be. I'm just wondering why it took me so long. So, you're really going to Canada? They got more protected lands than all 50 states combined, remember? I can fish, hike. Live in the forest? The only thing is, how to get in. Well, my brother had a friend who moved to Idaho Falls. I bet he'd help us with gas money. Plus, he's really good with fake IDs. Idaho? That's a long way for you. I've got all weekend. We can stop in town for some clothes and call Todd from a payphone. Do you have me my cigarettes? Uh -huh. <clears throat> I wish my mom had done this. Spread her wings before she couldn't anymore. What happened to her? Officially, the big C in her pancreas. The doctor said it was just bad luck. I say it's what happens when you spend your life doing what someone tells you instead of standing up for who you are. Your dad? He was tough on her? On all of us. I still can't believe he followed me to Utah. Uh... <sighs> he doesn't get you. Not really. Not deep down. No. He definitely doesn't. And you don't either, by the way. For all you know, I could be a serial killer. Think I'll take my chances. I'll tell you one thing. He must be flipping his fucking lid right now. His little girl stealing a car. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? across a decision <laughs> for 
pretty sure I've said this already. To someone I like. What was the lie? It doesn't matter. Well, who did you lie to? I said it doesn't matter. Well, just don't ever lie to me. Okay. Your brother's friend. Huh? Do you really think he'll help me? <laughs> I never said he'd help you, but he'll help me. <laughs> There's a lot going on here, man. I don't know how to feel about it. I said, open up. Hide. Tell him to go away. Stall him. Anything. Take your time. Oh, wait. Come on, get your shit together. Coming in. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. I, uh. What's with the kitty bike out front? Yeah. Just. Fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much, but after what he's been through. Right. Oh, you look a little flushed. <laughs> Got some of your stuff they saved from the fire. Tools and whatnot. I thought you might need them. Uh, thanks. Jeez. <laughs> it's darker than a dungeon in here. Look, uh, didn't mean for that to become such a clusterfuck mm-hmm Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me if I don't get everything back well, I'm just as screwed as they are so you got any uh, plans now that the motel's gone or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like grandma did Find a... find a job? Something different? Y yeah. Gardening, maybe. Change a career? Sure. You know, I was almost an analyst for the FBI. Fucking desk job. <laughs> Imagine it. Ah, seems like a lifetime ago. Yeah. Oh, look at this little man-eater. If my Aunt Cletus gets a whiff of you... Oh, boy. It's me will be in the doghouse, huh? Well, you look like I feel. <laughs> uh, Bet we could both use a coffee, right? Uh -huh. Sit down. I get it. When I first joined the department, Sheriff Wilson assigned me coffee duty. <laughs> Had to make a pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. Yeah. Back then, I believed it was about making a difference. But being a good guy ain't always so simple. Because when you got some crazy asshole and you can't 
tell if he's holding a Bible or a gun. What do you do? Go with your gut feeling. That's all anyone can do. Well, like I always say, I'd rather wind up standing in a courtroom than lying in a coffin. Or better yet, everyone just get the fuck out of my ass and let me do my job. Hey, you mind me asking, uh, why two glasses over there? Uh-huh. Uh... Got a friend dropping by. I thought you never touched a drop these days. Oh, I just meant the hard stuff is for him. For me, it's strictly soda. Oh. Soda, huh? In the shot uh -oh. Sure. So, little birdie told me you were at the station earlier. You talking to those fellas from the DA's office? Just, you know, asking what I could remember about uh, about the motel and all that stuff with the, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my damn mind, didn't they? It was a lot of questions. I, I can't... Uh -huh. And what was your professional opinion? Uh... I said maybe in hindsight you, you could have handled things differently. <sighs> but Dante, you gotta understand... No, I understand perfectly. I'm sure you told them exactly what they wanted to hear, didn't you? Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. Now the whole thing's turned into a pissing match over jurisdiction. Goddamn FBI involved. Even Becky hates my guts. Give those whole boys their blessing when they broke into my house. You know that? Oh. Yeah, I'll do my best by her, but I guess it'll never be enough. Hmm? No, you smoke menthols? Uh, trying to quit. You know how hard it is, though. Yeah? Well, once you let a bad thing get its hooks into you, it'll never let go. Say, I never thanked you for getting me a discount on that office safe. It's the same model they put in the rooms at the motel, right? Uh... That's right. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> After those old boys broke in, I, uh, I found a slip of paper with some numbers on it. Now, how do you think they knew about that factory override? Maybe you wrote it down somewhere, and, and someone got a hold of it. Oh, somebody definitely wrote it down. And I got a good idea who. Yeah, but one thing's for sure. Wherever Sharon Holt is, she ain't sipping margaritas on some tropical beach. Nope. In fact, I don't think she got too far at all. Uh-oh. You know, I forgot That's how close you two used to be. I seen as we're family. I'm gonna make this real easy for you. Where is she? You know, I'll protect Sharon, because why not? Long gone. I, I mean, she was here, but but. Because uh, I think she, Paul she, 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 is she a money. simp. I, I I refused, obviously. I, I should have gone to you, but then she said that if she got caught, she'd blame me. Say I was helping her. You son of a bitch. It was you. 
You gave me the call. No, listen, Dante, I, I, I can... I... I don't like Dante. Let's go for it. He even has gray hair. Silver hair. You ain't going anywhere. Or some of it. I like Devil May Cry, Dante. I like Dante from Yakuza. I don't like this guy. You're taking me in. No. Uh-uh. Don't even start down that road. Paul, come with me. It's not too late. You gave me that safe. The same model you put in the motel rooms. You gave me the factory code. Where's my book? You have it. I know you do. And you ain't getting it. If I don't, I'm finished. Don't worry. I'll make sure all the major newspapers get a copy. As soon as I've emptied the account. These people, you don't know who you're dealing with. No, oh, no. Don't you understand? It's not my money! Paul, how could you do this to me? Hold up. Eeny, meeny, money, mo, catch up there. This one right over here. Yes. <laughs> I know where that money comes from. Sharon told me everything. You don't know the half of it. Did you take her side over mine? Eh. Your own blood? I don't like you, Dante. I know she made you do this, Paul. Look, I'm giving you a get out of jail card here. Give me the gun. After Nam, I swore I'd never hold one again. And you know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. We can be free together. You can do this. I know you can. Don't, don't give me a crossroads. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Here's what we do. Alright. We do two things. We do Emi, Money Mo, and a coin flip. And then we have to do a decider. <laughs> and then a number generator. The number generator would be the tiebreaker. Ready? Okay. And then coin flip. I know which one I'm leaning towards. Okay, now I need the random number, <laughs> number generator. <laughs> All right, uh, one, two, three, two, one. All right, I have my answer. All right, let me close this out. That's my that's that's the answer. I want that. I got. Dang, you went down oh, quick. Car keys. Let's go. Hurry. Go. I know. Oh, This was the option I was leading towards, Just but I'm all in. Step on it. Oh shit. I don't like Sharon or, or Dante. But I like Sharon more than I do Dante. I hope that's her name. Hey Sharon. So your whole boy turned up in Utah with some girl and so FBI you're in pursuit. Out.
This shirt. You sure we fit in? Well, it's all we could find. I say it works. Excuse me. Have you seen Todd? He said he'll be back in an hour. Todd was pissed when his parents wanted him to die to home. But his dad and family here, they have all kinds of money, so... This isn't good. There's too many people. Uh -oh. Clover? What is it? It's for headaches. I think it's ecstasy. Have you done it? No. Have you? No, but my dad already thinks I'm a drug fiend, so what the fuck? Don't do drugs, kids. Not for me. Thanks. One of us needs to be thinking straight. Worst thing the whole world they want. They believe it. Pick that thing up. So much fun. This is the absolute best I have ever felt in my whole entire life. We should take some pills with us for the road. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a soda. Okay. person expected to show up asking for a favor. Well, I'm full of surprises. Look, will you help me or not? What will you give me for it? Oh, man. You are so freaking tall from down here. What are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? We go to school together in Arizona. Well, whoop de doo will fucking do. Now get out of my room or get out of the party. Dean, please. I'm all right. All right. Buddy. She's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but it's what she wants. Be a good sport. Can't win them 
Oo. Oh. I'll be at the car. Still feel amazing? Dean, why'd you follow me? I had that. You said he was your brother's friend. He was. But we also went out a few times. I didn't tell you because... I don't know. I just didn't. I wasn't even into him. But you wanted to be alone with him. So I could get him to help us. Which, admittedly, he didn't. But I did snag this. So, did the two of you... Did you... Uh, wait, are you jealous? That is what... No. <sighs> Why would I be jealous? Whatever. I asked him to find an old photo of my brother. And when he wasn't looking, I stole some cash. That's all. What about the fake ID stuff? He won't help with that. He... ...wanted too much. How much? A blowjob. <sighs> Just... ...forget about it, okay? He's a fucking asshole. But he's not... I wonder what the chapter's gonna end. I want to hit him so bad. I really do. I wish you told me the truth. I really do. Maybe I, I want to hit him bad. But I'm worried about how things will end up. I saw a campsite off the highway. I still feel pretty good. How about we go have our own after party? Yeah. All right. Because I think that affects the friendship a lot. Be like, how could you? I told you not to do that, and you did. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't think I made the right decision. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I'm not. A usually one for violence most of the time video games yes but like man it's weird i know huh and i thought it was all potato farms Something, ain't it? <sighs> On the run. You're not like the guys at school. The football players, the athletes, the future farmers of America. You're different. I don't know, you're real somehow. Not trying to be. I don't know what it is, but when I look at you, I, I just feel happy, safe. I trust you, Dean. Tell her. Look, I need to tell you something. My name's not Dean. It's Jay. Okay. And 
I didn't run away from my family. They made me do something bad. I... I helped them rob Sheriff Romero's house. I didn't know that till we got there. But Sheriff came home. We ran. Got holed up at this motel on Route 66. Oh, one of them. The family from the news. I didn't want to be there. It wasn't my idea. But the cops don't care about that. They're blaming me for all of it. Are you angry? It's... It's just a lot. Why did you tell me? Like you said, you trust me. And I trust you too. More than I trust anyone. Sorry, I... That's what I was all I was talking about. I don't know why I did that. And I was like, I, I've seen this, but I've seen this at things before. I know how this ends. That was nice. <sighs> Real nice. Maybe we can do it again when we get to Canada. Wait, we? What? You thought I was gonna miss out on all that maple syrup? I'm coming with you. Y you can't. Didn't you hear what I said? I'm wanting an achievement for that. Dean? This is a long chapter. Jay? Probably because I took a while for, for a, a couple of the choices, but other than that, it's a long chapter. Since the day my brother died. My dad's like this prison guard whose job is making sure I never make a friend, never take a risk. Every single week, I think I should just run the fuck away. Instead, I sit around in that stupid uniform helping Mima waiting for permission. Well, you know what? I don't need permission. This is my chance to become someone new. Do you not want me to come? Of course I do. But are you sure? You're gonna learn something. I can be really stubborn. Okay, then let's go to Canada. Then let's go to Canada. So, Jay, huh? Yeah, like a blue jay. It's nice. What's your last name? Holt. Holts have been in Turok over 150 years. Sounds like you're proud to be part of that. I was. But that's over now. It's like you said. I make my own choices from here on out. Now, I'm finally free. All units, be advised. Teenager seen at 1281 Elm this evening. It's the same one being pursued by the FBI. Consider him armed and dangerous. That's the end of the chapter, isn't it? Alright. That was a chapter. That was actually a pretty good chapter. I did enjoy that. It made me do a lot of choices that I didn't like, but, um, yeah. Alright. Next up is actually the final chapter, so I'll actually stop recording here. And then I'll, I'll wait. Next up is the final chapter. Um, I'm nervous. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. But we'll, we have to play it out. 